Okay, good morning everyone. So this is the second uh, lessons for the um, introduction to data management. No? Lesson 2, measures of central tendency. Okay, so in this topic, no, we're going to discuss what would be the main topic no, in the central tendency, what is the categorized or the, the indicators uh, under in the measure of central tendency. So last time... So, yung topic natin so about the um so about the different types of statistics like the descriptive statistics and inferential statistics and the measure of central tendency is under in the descriptive statistics as you can see here in our uh, discussion in the descriptive statistics it involves the mean median mode and the variability range variance and the standard deviation frequency distribution and now so in this topic now let's talk about uh, what is mean so the mean it is uh, the most commonly used to measure of the central tendency when speak when we speak of mean that is average we always refer to the mean okay so that is uh, another term no of the mean and it, it will call as average no so another term ng mean so average so the uh, the formula of mean is the mean of n numbers is the sum of numbers divided by n okay so here's the exam uh, formula ng mean no denoted by x bar x no meron siyang bar sa itaas so that is mean so and the formula of that is summation of x divided by the total number the total numbers and the total number of data the total numbers and that would be the formula formula and in this formula we're going to apply no in this given problem and we'll have a given problem six friends in a biology class of 20 students receives a test grades of 92, 84, 65, 76, 88, and 90. So, find the mean of these test scores. So, I'll, um, by using the formula no, on finding the mean, okay, by summation of x, so it means summation of x, we're going to add, no, add the total, add, uh, the data sets or the date or the numbers no the test grades of the six friends no of biology class so i add natin ito and that would be the summation so 92 plus 84 plus 65 plus 76 plus 88 plus 90 so is equal to 495 okay and divided by 6 Okay, bakit 6 po yung uh, number po dito? So, because we have 6 different grades, no? 6 friends. Okay, so divided by 6. So, approximately, eh, uh, mean is equal to 82.5, no? Or average of 82.5 in the grade of 20 students, no? In the uh, 6 friends, no? So, that would be the final answer. So, that is uh, finding the mean. Okay. So, another example naman, no? The ages of five contestants in, in the statistics quiz B are the following. 18, 17, 18, 19, and 18. So, find the average of... Uh, find their average age. So, using the formula, okay mean is equal to summation of x divided by n is equal to so add mo lang itong mga data set 18 plus 17 plus 18 plus 19 plus 18 is equal to 90 and divided by 5 so the mean po is mean is equal to 14 okay and that is the process no on solving the mean scores next is the median so, the median is the midpoint of the data array. Uh, before you find this, this value, the data must be arranged in order from less 
greatest or vice versa, or the ascending order or ascending order. And the median will either be specific value or will fall between two values. Okay, what if your value of the median is odd? No? Example, for this example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No? So, the middle of this median is, the middle is x sub 3. Pag add number. What if the medians, the median set, or the data set, yung terms is 6. No? Or even numbers yung, uh, yung, yung separated by comma or terms. So, all you need to do is add yung middle number, x sub 3 plus x sub 4, divided by 2 to get this median score. Okay? So, that is uh, to solve the median po. So, for example, uh, 7 mothers were selected and given a blood pressure check. Now, their blood pressure were correct, uh, required that below. So, 135. 121, 119, 116, 130, 121, and 131. So, find their median. So, first um, strategy, no? first thing to do is uh, arrange the data sets okay, from lowest to highest score. No? 116, 119, 121, 121, 130, 131, and 135. So, to find the median score, so check we have uh, add number no add number for this uh, example kasi 7 ang kanilang uh, yung sets uh, yung elements dito no so therefore the uh, the median score okay, is 121 okay so, another example, 8 novels were randomly selected as the, and the numbers of pages were recorded as follows. For example, 415, 398, 402, 400, 400, 420, 415, 475. So, find their median. No? So, the solution for this, one po. So, arrange the data in order, ascending or descending order. So, for me, pwede yung i-arrange mo yan into lowest to highest, no? 398, 400, 402, 407, 415, 415, 420, 421. So, take note, we have 8 uh, data sets here, no? 8 elements. So, yung middle score nila is i-add mo lang yan, no? To find their median. So, 407 plus 415 divided by 2, okay? is equal to 411. So, that is the median score. Ngayon naman is, what is mode? Okay? Uh, mode, that is the value that occurs most often in the data set. So, the most frequent data. No? And the mode of less of numbers is the number that occurs most frequently. And the number of our value or observation in a data set which appears the most number of times that is mode. Yung frequent, no? Yung bumabalik ng mga data. Okay, for example, uh, find the mode of this, of the given data set. So, 15, 28, 25, 48, 22, 43, 39, 44, 43, 49, 34, 42, 33, 27, 25, 22, and 30. So, first po, ano, first step to solve the mode is arrange the data set in ascending or descending order. So, the same in the median, no? in finding the median. So, 15, okay, check, 22, we have uh, 3 22s, no? 25, 2, 27, 28, 30, 33, 34, 39, 43, 44, 44, uh, 43, 44, 48, 49. So, check, now the most frequent data. So, therefore, the most frequent data here is 22. So, what if 25? No. So, the most, no? Yung pinakamaraming data na bumabalik. So, take note that 22 
we have to, uh, 322s. So that is the most frequent data. Now in the given the data set, the number that appeared the most number of times is 22. And the data set is said to be unimodal kasi merong uh, 22 na bumabalik lang no, isang 22 22 22. So that is unimodal. Pag by modal naman, for example, for this uh, example, no? the speed of ten, uh, 10 stenographers in typing per minute are 121, 110, 120, 119, 112, 120, 21, 118, 115, 107, 115. So, arrange uh, the data set from ascending or descending order. So, that is the first step. Now, take note, we have 115 uh, repeating twice and also 121. So, therefore, this uh, that would be our mode and the, the data set is said, said to be bimodal kasi mayroong uh, dalawang uh, most frequent data here. No? So, find the mode of the given data. So, as you can see, there is no mode no, in, in the given data kasi walang bumabalik na the same number yung number niya. Ngayon naman is the weighted mean. No? So, the, weight, uh, the weighted mean no, a value called the weighted mean is often used when some data values are more important than others. No? Uh, for example, uh, the weighted mean of the n numbers x sub 1 to x sub n with respective assigned weights, no? weight 1, weight 2, weight 3, and weight n, no? is weighted mean and the summation of x times w, uh, quantity of x times w divided by summation of W, that would be our formula. No? Where summation of x times w is the sum of the products formed by multiplying each number by its assigned weight. And summation of w is the sum of all weights. Okay, for example, many colleges use the four-point grading system. No? Okay, for the English, we have uh, B for story A, chemistry D, and algebra C. No? Uh, your four point grading system A is equal to 4 no? B is equal to 3 C is equal to 2 D is equal to 1 and F equal, is equal to 0 so find find the grade point average of the Lyons grade in the given semester's course grade okay so the weighted mean the summation of X so X is the value of uh, X is our grade no? and W is our weighted mean so take note that here a is equal to 4 no history Ayan. so that is why um, a 3 uh, x times w is 3 times 4 no so next is uh, for d uh, for a is 4, for B is 3, no? B is 4, so that is why 4 dyan, no? Here po, no? Yung A is... Yung A is... Yung A is 3, no? Ayan. B is, is 4, no? And C is equal to... Okay. I wait, wait, wait. So there's um, wrong for this example. So take note that B is equal to 4, B is 3. No? Okay. B is 3, A is 4. Okay. And D is equal to 1, and C is equal to 2. So yan po yung solution dyan, no? 3 times 4 yan. 3 times 4, 4 times 3, 1 times 3, and 2 times 4. So, after multiplying for this one, no? 12, uh, 3 times 4, 12, 4 times 3, 12, and 1 times 3, 3, and 2 times 4, 8. Okay, so, yan, 12, yan, dyan, 12, 3, and 8, no? So, add mo lang yan, 12 plus 12, 24 plus 3, 27 plus 8, 35, no? Divided by 14, 
So the weighted mean is 2.5. So therefore, the Delion's GPA for the given semester is 2.5. So next naman is the frequency distribution. Now, a frequency distribution which is a table that, that less observed events and the frequency occurrence of each observed event is often used to organize raw data. For example, uh, if you are conducting a research no, by counting the number of computers per household, no? for example, in the household one, uh, household A, ay, nakagather ka ng dalawang computers. For, uh, for household B naman, mayroong zero, walang computer. No? Sa isang bahay naman, mayroong tatlong computers. And tuloy-tuloy na yan. No? So, in the 50 household, 50 ba ito? Ah uh, no. Uh, 40 households meron kang gathered na mga data, no? That would be your tally. No. So in the frequency frequency distribution is to to arrange no the data events, no. So the number of computers is denoted by x, no. Take note, meron tayong mga uh, numbers dito, no, from 0 kasi ma meron walang computer, no. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Merong 7 computers. Oh, internet cafe. Ka, baka internet cafe yan. No? So, 0 from 7. So, count the numbers no, per household. Count mo lang yan. Yung 0 dito, yung 0 ito, meron tayong 5. Yung 0 na computers, meron tayong 5 household. No? Na meron 0 computer. Eh. Pag 1 naman, meron 12 na household. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Kulang, kulang. 12, 12. So, pag dalawang computer naman, merong 14 household. Tatlong uh, pag 3 computers, merong tatlong household, households. And 4 computers, meron po tayong 2 households. And 5 computers, meron tayong 3 households. Pag 6 naman, walang uh, household na merong 6 computers 7 only no merong isang household so first step is i-add mo lang yan no number of household no from 5 4, 5 plus 12 plus 14 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3 is equal 0 plus 1 is equal to 40 so meron po tayong uh, 40 dito no na households so find the mean of the data so in finding the mean no of the data so, the summation of, okay, summation of f times x, no? So, unahin mo natin ng f times x bago natin i-add, no? So, uh, summation of f times x, so, i-multiply lang natin yung, yung x and c, f, tsaka si f, no? Multiply mo lang yan, yan. After multiplying po, Ayan, 0 times 5, meron tayong 0. 1 times 12, o yan. Tingnan mo lang yan. No? 1 times 12, 12. 2 times 14, 28. Okay. 3 times 3, 9. 4 times 2, 8. 5 times 3, 15. 6 times 0, 0. 7 times 1, 7. Okay, so, i-add mo lang yan. No? After adding po, we'll have our score. Uh, answer 79 and divided by 40 saan po yan kinuha yung n no? dito sa number of household dyan so 79 divided by 40 is equal to mean is equal to 1.975 so the main number of computer per household is 2 no ok so that would be uh, all no in, fine, uh, in, in solving the frequency uh, distribution ok and ito yung um, ito yung uh, reference natin okay so wait lang okay so from Guillermo Mathematics in the Modern World Rodriguez Oatman and from the one Waumat no problem sol uh, the norm uh, the central tendency okay and that would be all for today. Thank you.